Arizona's coordinators and players, Keon Bars and Michael Wiley, spoke with us about how important it is to focus on Friday's game against Washington State and not get ahead of themselves by looking forward to the matchup against ASU. The group touched on a variety of topics. Here's what they had to say. In your experience when you were at Michigan, did you ever notice that the guys had trouble focusing the week before the Ohio State game? I ask that because this is the week before the Arizona State game for Arizona. I don't recall us not being ready to go any week before the game. Uh, nope. I really don't. Is there a challenge at all with this team in this situation to make sure that they're focused on this week and not looking ahead to next week? Well, I, I think it, there's always, that could be in the back of your mind, but I'll be able to tell you better after today when we're on the, you know, our first earnest practice of the week. Um, I will say this, this is a credit to our players. They show up every, every <clears throat> week on the practice field ready to go. Um, we haven't been there yet, so I can't give you an honest answer as to what, how that would look. But, uh, you know, uh, I'd be shocked if we're not ready to go. Are there certain telltale signs that will indicate one way or the other once you get out there? Um, you know, loosey goosey, I guess, would be a piece of it. Uh, you know, uh, lack of effort. But this group hasn't, I mean, we just haven't gone through that. So I, it's a hard question for me to answer because I don't, I don't, I can't give you like, well, this is our problems, you know, hasn't been that way at all. And we've made significant improvement in that area uh, the last few weeks in terms of getting pressure on the quarterback, sacks, quarterback knockdowns. Um, just hasn't gone our way. Sometimes the ball bounces and it doesn't go your way. But, you know, like where TFLs were 24th with 71 TFLs. Uh, so that's usually a pretty telltale area. We're fifth in the Pac-12 in sacks now up to about two game. Um, and usually when you're knocking the quarterback down, there's... That usually leads to good things. Uh, so, one of the players, I can't remember who it was, said that you're less likely to get interceptions in man coverage than in zone coverage. Is that true? That's fair. That's a fair statement. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of you'll get your hands on a lot more balls because you're basically covering like this and contesting it, but you're playing through the your eyes are playing through the man. Whereas in zone, uh, you know, uh, you tend to um, have a chance to get, if it's clean, you'll have a chance to get more interceptions. But completions, where do you think we stand in completions? Probably pretty good, right? Second. Yeah. And we don't let people, yeah. we challenge every throw. So that's the decision you make philosophically is... Do you want to contest every throw or don't you? Me personally, I want to contest every throw. That impacts the completion percentage in a negative way. And, uh, you know, so that's my feeling. Uh, sure, we, we got to prepare early. We know what happened last week, so we got to just move on from it. But sure, we got to come out ready uh, to practice and ready to go. Um, like you said, I went through some injuries, but it's fine. Thanks, thanks to God, I just was able to come back, uh, fat, speedy recovery, and make plays. So that's all I wanted to do, really. How much would you focus on just trying to continue to develop this offseason and really kind of make this kind of a banner year for yourself? Uh, I mean, there's always room for improvement. So this offseason, just focus on the little things, just getting stronger and getting faster, make sure my body is where it needs to be for next season. Where have you seen your defense progress the most since the start of the season? I know Coach Brown uh, talks about how consistent the effort is and, and kind of how much you guys are working in practice. But where have you seen the real progress show up this season? Uh, I'll probably say everywhere, really. There's not, like, one specific spot. I feel like we've all improved in certain different areas, passing, run game, all of that. I feel like we've all uh, put in the work to improve. What about the system allows you to do that as an interior lineup? 
Uh, with Coach Brown's scheme, with the different blitzes we do, the different uh, stunts we do as a D line, just allows me to get open and get uh, sacks and different different tackles and stuff like that. You guys have continued to show fight late in games. This last game was similar. Uh, Cal, you guys are battling until the very last mm -hmm. drive. I mean, what does that say about the defense and the team as a whole that you guys are continuing to fight? And uh, Coach Fish mentioned earlier in the week that he doesn't feel like you guys are easy out for any team that you guys play. Right mm -hmm. now. No, we're we gonna come out every every game ready to play, no matter what team it is. It can be any team; it don't matter. We'll come out ready to play. Just I fight this team and this defense has heart, and we show it every Saturday. Do you think it's a mindset thing with the, the red zone that when you're closer, things are different, and knowing that it's just that far away or anything? Because um, being don't... able to move the ball so easily up to the twenty, and then it kind of slows down. I don't think anything we've done this year has been easy. <laughs> Everything's been really hard. Um, I know that the uh, the defense has tightened up a little bit as you get down there. They don't have as much field to cover, um, but uh, you know we've had some critical mistakes early on in the season. We've done better with penalties. Um, we just got to find a way to get in the end zone and score. Where have you seen the overall progress in the offense going back you know, to the first game of the season? It feels like there's been a lot of development. Yeah, I, f I feel like we're a little bit more consistent. I feel like uh, we found some balance um, in our run game and our pass game, which is what we're always striving for. Um, and I think just experience is time on task, just trying to get better um, at all the positions. And I think we've made improvements everywhere. And competition's been great at certain positions. And um, new guys have been in there to, to show their stuff and been able to uh, produce. And, um, I think it's just a testament to what we strive for the whole time. It's just great competitors, um, be a really tough team, and uh, hopefully it uh, shows up on uh, this weekend. This being my uh, first. Uh, first game of this magnitude here, um, I don't have a, the depth of knowledge of, um, you know, how much this has affected in the past, so um, all we can really do is focus on the, this game at hand. Um, this poses enough problems uh, with this defense and this team that we're playing against. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to think ahead, look ahead, and it's our task this week is to not let them do that. Pull them back, reel them in. <laughs> When they call that particular play, what what is your mindset? What are your keys? Uh, just to protect the football, you know. Down there, you don't want to turn the ball over, you know, you know, close to a win. So we just you no know, turnovers, just ball security, and just falling forward and just getting extra yards. And how was the blocking? <coughs> it was great, <coughs> great blocking on that play. I mean, you can see it's a picture with the with the hole in there. So it was great blocking. So you've been the one who've scored the last two Reds on touchdowns for Arizona, but. The, year long that's been a problem of being able to finish in the red zone. What do you think has been the thing that's holding you guys back the most? Uh, just a lack of execution. You know, the same execution it takes to get down to the red zone is the same execution we need to score. You know, some guys, we kind of lose focus and we just need to figure out a way to just maintain that focus so we can just finish the drive. Is there anything about it being a shorter field at that point because you don't have the ability to, to make big plays, it's just smaller, shorter plays? Uh, I think the plays that we run down there work for uh, work for our for work for red zone. It's just like we just need that same execution, so therefore we can end up with scoring more than just three points. I mean, less than just three points. What do you What do you guys do to try to avoid not looking ahead to the ASU game? Is it hard not to think that that game's a, a little more than a week away? Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard, but you know we just gotta stay focused. You know, it's about this week instead of. You can't just look past Washington State like they're not a good team, so we just got to stay focused for that. As a running back, is there any difference to you playing in the cold weather? Uh, you know, I can't wear long sleeves because they don't want us to wear long sleeves because it might help. Uh, it might help uh, fumble. So yeah, we just—it's gonna be cold, but it's something you got to be mentally prepared for. So.